pouvoir faire la même chose qu'on a. Le coup, à force de nous voir, on a dit, 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 Apa ada zaman mengkom? Nenek bapak nenek bapak. Cakap, dah terkejap. Dunia. Excellencies members of government, Excellencies ambassador, High Commissioner, and other members of diplomatic corps. The governor of the central region probably represented the SDO, the food division, honorable members of parliament, honorable members of honorable members of the, the Senate, honorable members of the regional assemblies and councillors, extreme royalties. The mayor Yaoni Dream, God, law spiritual and temporal, political and religious authorities, people and friends of Mankon from within and without, members of the communication family, good afternoon and welcome to this civic reception of the Forum of Mankon on my on my premier official visit to Yaoni. I want to thank His Excellency Chief Dr. Joseph John Bute, Prime Minister, Head of Government, for the unforgettable warm welcome and wise counsel of last Wednesday. I'm elated and grateful to the members of government, the international community, personalities and members of the civil society who have come to share the good times with Malcolm. We are honored and privileged by your presence. Enjoy your stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed members of the Mangon community in Yaoundé, it is with great joy and a sense of profound responsibility that I stand before you today. As your newly enthroned king, I am deeply honored to address you on this momentous occasion of my maiden visit to our capital city after my ascension to the throne. As a custodian of our traditions and the embodiment of our collective aspirations, I stand before you today with a heart full of gratitude and a vision for our shared future. Our, gar our garden transcends the boundaries of Marco, reaching beyond hills and valleys to embrace all those who carry the spirit of our land within their hearts. Our strength lies in our unity. As Mankon people, we are bounded by a shared history, culture, and destiny. Let us embrace one another as brothers and sisters, transcending any differences that may exist. Unity is the cornerstone on which great civilizations are left. Our ancestors, guided by wisdom and resilience, forged bonds that have withstood the test of time. Today, as we stand here in Yaoundé, let us reaffirm our commitment to unity. For it is in unity that we find strength, resilience, and the power to overcome any challenge. Peace is not merely the absence of conflict, it is the presence of understanding, compassion, and goodwill. Let us resolve to build bridges, not walls, and, not, and foster an environment where every member of our community feels valued and benefit. Yes, 
We once more dis demonstrated our strong resolve in standing together for a common goal during the job celebrated over the land, Nabuta. We are proud of who we are and we have to continue in this field. Our greatest resource is our people and most especially our youth. Our youth are the architects of our future. To empower them, we must invest in education and vocational training. Education is a cornerstone and progress. Education is the cornerstone of progress and every civilization. I encourage each one of you to invest in your personal growth and development. Vocational education and training empower us to acquire practical skills, enabling us to contribute meaningfully to our society. Let us create pathways for our young people to learn and grow. Bridge the gap between theory and practice. By doing so, we not only uplift our communities, but also build a skilled workforce capable of driving economic progress. Let us seek knowledge, for it is the key that unlocks doors of opportunities. My dear Mongol people, ladies and gentlemen, our rich cultural heritage is a tapestry it's a tapestry woven from the threads of tradition, language, arts, and customs. Let us proudly wear our cultural identity like a patch of honor. Dress, dress in our vibrant fabrics, dance to the rhythms of our drums, and sound the, the flavors of our cuisine. Above all, let us cherish our language, the vessel through which our stories, wisdom, and dreams are passed down from generation to generation. Our land is sacred. It sustains us, shelters us, and connects us to our ancestors. As custodians of local land, we must adopt responsible land management practices, protect our ecosystems, and prevent land de degradation. By doing so, we honor cultural identity and ensure a legacy for generations to come. We need to stop the destruction of Rafia bushes and the destruction of wetlands by championing the cause for environmental conservation. Plant trees, reduce waste, and advocate for clean energy. Our actions today shape the world our future will, our children will inherit. Let us bequeath to them a planet teeming, a planet teeming with life where the air is pure, the rivers flow freely, and the forests whisper ancient secrets. The earth is our legacy. Let us be it better than we found it. Good citizenship is the bedrock of a thriving community. Let us re respect our laws, honor, honor obligations, and contribute positively to the collective welfare. As Mongol people, we are ambassadors of our kingdom wherever we go. Let our ambitions reflect the values of our integrity, compassion, and justice. It would be missing it would be remissing of me to end this speech without thanking you all for this excellent organization. I pledge to serve you with unwavering dedication. Together, let us build a mango that shines as a beacon of unity, progress, love, and justice. May the spirit of our ancestors guide us, and may our future be as bright as the morning sun. Long live Mangon, long live our people. Je vous remercie.